In this video, we will be using this lethal bad boy here, the guillotine, to be putting in some stabs. <laughs> but before we get started, I would like to announce that I have got some proper merch now. Got it made, got a logo, bought and paid for. Everything you see here is made by Kami from the Sheep Game, and that is so that I can support somebody in the UK. Rather than using an online company, I'd rather use somebody that's uh, within the UK or even Scotland. So there you go. So link should be below somewhere if you want to have a wee swatch. And uh, well, it might even be in the wee pictures. I, I, don't, I don't really know how it all works. So very confusing, but I hopefully you all like it. And uh, aye, let's get straight into this video. So today on Drew's Farming Life, we are putting in a new fence because the fence up this roadside is gubbed and we would like to use it to put cattle in because as you can see, there's a lot of grass in here and we can't get to it for silage because it's a hill and um, that would cause a mess. So we've put in the big strainers, now we're just putting in the wee smaller ones and then uh, in the middle, you know, and then uh, we'll be pulling the rail up, up and putting stabs in. Aye, ripped out the old fence, as you can see, that massive pile of rubbish there. Aye, I've got the post chopper on here. And Dad's being the strong man right now, putting in that. Lifting the wee strainer in. I'm trying to get my angle right here. I think I've got it wrong. soon find out. I think he's too happy with it. <laughs> Back a wee tad. Get my angles right. Try and put it in as straight as we possibly can, I suppose. Aye, this fence has had a fair bit of abuse over the years. A few balls with the uh, there was one year somebody was spreading dung uh, going down the hill here and it was just a bit wet when it was in um, when it was in, I have to go back a bit barley and uh, it slid through the fence right, try to keep it straight Aye, it, it went through the fence and well the tractor had to go through the fence too so I ended up driving down the road so that was the start of the fence getting wrecked um, and the next stage was well me well the combine was one thing dad drove over it with the combine <laughs> and then uh, was it this, this year or last year driving down the hill with a big M and uh, when you lift the front mower up and the side mowers going down the hill it, uh, it takes all the weight off the back wheels and puts it all in the front so when you're trying to steer the steering doesn't work <laughs> so uh, driving down and it just kept drozing straight and aye well 
ended up going through the fence, so that wasn't the ideal. Um, <laughs> but aye, no. Uh, we'll need to be a bit more careful with the new fence we're putting in. But because we don't generally have cattle outside, that's probably why the fence hasn't been uh, that well looked after. But we're, we're looking to try and make sure that we put a good one in and it'll maintain itself. And uh, we'll hopefully, well, we'll definitely not be trying to drive through it anyway, that's for bloody sure. <laughs> Alright, see what happens here. Got all the strainers in now. Just putting up the rail up now. Pulling it up with the man too. Shunt it in. Pulling it tight, but I think uh, it'd be better if it was in line with where it's supposed to be. Fair bit of tension in that now. I think that'll be good enough. Just need to steep it onto that strain on the new. See what the father thinks. <laughs> Some of these good strainers that should last 20 years, but probably only the last five. Resort or whatever you call it. Dad's way up to see what he thinks, but I think it's pretty tight. I think it's a great piece of equipment, that. Pulling the fence tight. Two big strainers here to get around the corner. A couple of weird ones in the middle and then some weird ones down the bottom. Big bastard up there. A big bugger up there for a gate as well, so. It's quite the uh, operation. That's not going anywhere now. Time to take the slack off it, roll it round and pull it onto that one. Good job, Maggie. Reverse fart lift away. Yeah. <laughs> so after putting in all those strainers last night, we're going to uh, put in posts for the first section that we've done uh, with <laughs> our old lethal guillotine post chopper. Those of you who don't know what that is, well, you're about to find out. That's lethal. But it saves a lot of work. <laughs> All I think with them is you can never guarantee you're going to get the post in straight. But we can try our best. <laughs> things are lethal. Aye. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so that's all of them spaced out. Every four steps, one went out. That hang. Ah. Oh well. <laughs> right, that's the first one in and nobody's injured. Dad's got a long bar with a hoop on it to stay out the way and kind of shove it to make it look straight. So that's one done. It's maybe not even here but there is a very big rock below that stab there so we just had to move it to the left a bit. Um, now we're going to move on to the main part of the fence. Bro. Right, let's see how this goes. I don't know how good my camera skills are going to be here because I need to concentrate a fair bit. I think I've got that right. Don't want to go too daft with it, you can go a bit mental on that. Try and 
Hold on, wait, there you go. You can go too hard and then, or you can go too soft like I'm doing now. Fucking shit! Are you shooting your head up for? <laughs> I can't see it that way. Uh, see, that's what I meant. You can't get these things right. <laughs> Trying to stay safe with that big hoop. This does help. What? I think the hoop's too big. Tell me when it's done or not. Right, that's a good height then. That's straight at least. Right, let's hope the rest end up like that. <laughs> For God's sake. Got a few in now. It's all right as long as the stab never hits a big stain and makes it go squint. We're getting into a wee routine here. In. A few more to go. <laughs> right. right the way up the fence now, I've got one more to put in. There's a strainer there for a big gate to go in. Make our gates wider for the machinery since everyone's getting bigger, you know. So waiting on the nod. Looks like it's squint, but that'll just need to do. It's in the ground, that's the main thing. Beautiful stuff. Right, just to staple it up and roll out some barbed wire, but then we've got the full down a uh, hill part of the fence to put up as well but hey fantastic be able to put cattle in here very shortly and get that chomp doing a bit before the winter <laughs> i mean i think the first post was the worst that's not my fault hey <laughs> the rest look not too bad but i think the fence is up will be fine fine just got all this to do doing the weight I think that's a bigger stretch anyway. But I'll need to roll out the rylock first. And uh, and then uh, uh, then we'll need to roll out the rylock first, pin them up so we can get our line for where the stabs need to go. <laughs> You're probably wondering what the air leak is, but it's just the air brakes. Um, It's uh, jammed from what it was on last, so 
Aye, but... Yep. Here she is in all her glory. Kilworth. Aye, that sounds about right. <laughs>